What in the algorithm is going on? Get you out of there with sausages and biscuits. <laughs> Mind power. So lately I've seen a lot of YouTube channels being like, yo, I don't know what the fuck's going on. My numbers are going down. People are saying they're not seeing my shit no more. Everybody don't fuck with me no more. Two of you don't love me, bruh. Two of you don't even love me, bruh. Very motherfucker. Mind power! Oh, you don't know what's going on? I do! Well, it's simple. It happened last time there was an election. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it's about that time for people like me and people that don't look like me to fucking hate each other. Bye, have a beautiful time. The fucking elections are right around the corner, aren't they? Indeed they are, Tessa, indeed they are. So pretty much what I'm saying is, if you've ever gotten your little search engine and you know, typed in maybe Charlie Daniels or fucking American Flag or fucking Adam Calhoun or fucking Upcharge or fucking anything that is uh, American as fuck, then you're gonna get throttled back. Do you know what throttled back means? Oh, I'll tell you. Being throttled back means they don't fuck with the shit you post because it could sway something a different way than they want it to go. So, all these people that are at these fucking pride parades and shit with like dick suits on and stuff and fucking bondage outfits and stuff. We don't know what you know, man. In the fucking street with like, you know, all the kids being like, Mommy, Daddy, what's going on? Why is that guy in a leather suit acting like a dog? Because, son, he's a fucking weirdo. So what they do is, they find people like me. And this has happened to me recently. I have been getting blocked. I have proof of it in the numbers. I've seen it. It's fucking obvious. If you go back, like, maybe a month ago on my YouTube channel, I posted a bunch of, like, shit that I do all the time. And they got, like, 34 or 40,000 views. Which is fucking weird. And then this past week, the shit I posted... It's almost to a million. You know why? Because they do shit like this. Take take this for instance. The real AK, the rapper. I follow that kid. I fucking love his shit. It's fucking awesome. When I look up his shit on my phone, I can only see what he posted last year and two fucking years ago. When I look it up on this desktop that I never use, well, I can see what the fuck he posted last week. But on my phone? No. Because all my social medias are hooked to it. And it knows what I look up. Facebook, for instance, it, it labels you, you know, what it thinks you are based on what the fuck you look up. What do you think they use that for? Oh, look, this group of people over here, we gotta bug them. We gotta bug them. Why they do this, I don't know. It's a lot more complicated than that, but I'm not gonna go into detail on that because that'll be a three hour long video. But I'm not the only one who notices this shit. The biggest YouTuber of all time has been talking about it lately as well. Beautiful. I fucks with PewDiePie, bro. You're not in gay way. Fuck it! It's fucking, it's fucking gay way! Gay gang. Hell yeah, if I start saying dumb shit like that and acting like a fucking dumbass, maybe I'll get invited to YouTube Rewind. <laughs> they do it for different reasons. They do it to, I, don't, I mean, it doesn't work, but they do it to sway elections. They do it to sway human emotion. They do it to use the race card. Yes, they do it to use the race card. Whether you want to believe it or not, they do it to use the race card. You're right, they don't make no fucking sense. Why would they do that? It ain't like we can actually harm each other through the fucking computer screen. Here's why they do it. Because I'm gonna say it in the most caveman way possible so anybody out there can understand. All right, me post video. White man beat up black guy, no reason. Post, view, view, view. Oh my God, it go viral. All the black people mad at white people, even if they don't even know the white people. People. Next week, I post black man. Black man harm white guy. No reason. All white people mad at black guy. Oh my god. It's not people like me and you that watch this shit and we're like, oh man, fuck them motherfuckers. And it's not people like Simba who watch shit like that and go, man, fuck them motherfuckers. We see through the bullshit. You know why they do that? Do you know how many people fucking vote? just to put it on Snapchat now? Do you know how many people are gonna go vote just so they can grab their Snapchat and fucking record them not clicking Donald Trump or clicking Donald Trump? A fucking shit ton. Why do you think fucking like white on black and black on white crime stays on Facebook forever even though everyone's fucking reporting it and being like, we don't know how fucking say that shit and they don't get fucking blocked till it's got 14 million views. 
And then me over here, I fucking do a remix of a very popular song that everyone else done a fucking remix to. And guess what? Mine gets fucking blocked. Then all the skins get mad and they're like, oh crap, we're gonna get them back to you. Dude, I got like, I got a strike for that. Well, first I got a warning. Then I got a strike for some fucking reason. I don't even know why. Then they sent me an email saying, hey, your video was taken down because it fucking, it shits on our guidelines. Stop pooping everywhere. Well, guess what? I fucking missed out on probably 500,000 views on that. You know why? Because I'm an independent artist. They're gonna start doing the same shit. Not only the people who are fucking super American, not only people who support Trump, not only people who are speaking against these dumbass parades they're having that, the, that most the gay people don't even fuck with, but because of the music industry. Oh yeah. Remember when I told you guys record labels are crashing? They're fucking crashing. I have actual documentation from a couple different record labels where they pretty much hand you this piece of paper. It's like, hey, here you go. We're trying to fuck you in a booty hole. You want to come chill with us? Uh, no, I fucking don't. So where I see this going is they're going to start doing it on different stuff other, other than the stuff I just named. Since the record labels are crashing and people are figuring out, hey, we don't have to have a fucking record label. We can get on the internet and make our own damn money, our own self, because that's pretty much what you're doing anyway. They already figured that out. Now they're trying to think into the future. Okay, well, how can we use social media to get artists and then sign them to our YouTube channel? Guarantee fucking tea. You know why? Because if a record label gets a bunch of money behind a, a social media platform, and see, they haven't done it yet. That's why you can go look up all these record labels right now and they got no fucking followers. But now they're about to have to jump ship from the physical record label realm into the digital record label realm. And with that being said, they're gonna have different YouTube channels. They're gonna have a jabillion, kabillion, jabillion, million, kajillion, zillion fucking followers like T-Series, who is not an actual YouTube creator. It's just a fucking page where they share music. You hear that? They're the biggest channel in the world and they're, they they promote music. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, what's so wrong with that? Why can't they just make a channel and just promote everyone's music? Because if they do that, they're gonna start throttling the independent artist who's already shared his fucking music. So then you have this kid out here who probably done mowed yards and done everything he could, saved up all this fucking money, bought this equipment, set his own studio up in his house, records his own shit, has a buddy who comes over and produces it for him, and they got this little fucking team going, right? And they're doing it all right. But in the future, sorry, you're an independent artist. We're going to put a fucking, we're going to throw all your shit back. But hey, you can come be with fucking X series over here. They got fucking got a billion followers if you want to fucking come over here and make some goddamn music. That's what's gonna happen. And when you get down to the nitty gritty of it, whether it's politics, whether it's an election coming up, whether it's music, whether it's whatever the fuck it is, it is this. Money, it's money. It's a lot of fucking money too. These big ass investors to YouTube, to Instagram, to Snapchat, to Facebook. They have a fucking say so in some shit that goes on. Just cause they didn't create this shit don't mean that they can't sway what the fuck goes on? You know why? Because if it doesn't go a little bit their way, well, they'll stop paying this big fat ass fucking check, now won't they? But they can come back and be like, well, we'll still do it, but you know, there's some fucking, you know what I'm saying? You gotta fucking, you go, fuck them, fuck them, fuck them, go fuck them. And then I'll write you the check, all right? Look what's happening to YouTube. YouTube used to be about the content creator. PewDiePie even said it. And you might laugh at that, but hey, he's the biggest fucking one there is. And even he said it. I mean, PewDiePie could turn around and sell out right now and get even bigger and bigger and bigger, but he's not. I could turn around and sell out right now and get bigger and bigger and bigger, but I don't want to. No actual content creators that love creating content for all people want to do anything like that. Yeah, they paint a picture of me that not a lot of people want to look at. They get to pick and choose which of my videos pop up that might make somebody question me. And then the ones that will let you know exactly who I am, those are the ones that get throttled. Yeah, they don't want people to like me or people like me or people who are against everything I'm talking about right now. They don't want no part of you. And you know why? Because people who are non-biased and open-minded like myself, fuck their checkup.
we fucked our money up. I don't know how much they fucking need to live, but it seems like they want all the fucking money in the world. I'm not making this video for myself. I have millions of followers. I, I, look, I mean, dude, this is my YouTube room. Look how nice it is. I don't need to get on here and, and save this shit for myself. I don't need anything else. I'm 100% happy with my life. My bills are paid, I got food in my fridge, and I got some cool cars, and I get to make YouTube videos. And I get to make songs, and music videos, and tour, and fucking make people happy, and unify people. I mean, you, do you even know why I'm making this video? I'll tell you. The reason I'm making this video is because on the way back from Florida, I pulled over in Atlanta, okay? Now, listen, I'm white as fuck, okay? I have a huge rebel flag tattoo on me, and I rap about the South in everything I do. And I came up during a time where I, I, dude, in the beginning, I got shit on a bunch, dude. People was calling me a Klan's member. People was calling me a fucking, uh, a white supremacist. Uh, all kind of fucking shit. With no proof of that. Because there ain't none. There's not. There's pictures of me wearing a Confederate flag, and there's pictures of my tattoo. That's all they had to have to make that big of a problem out of me. But you know what? I said, fuck this shit. I ain't fucking letting them do that shit to me. I said, I'm going to fight through all this. I'm going to explain myself as much as I fucking have to. And I even I know, I ain't got to explain myself to no fucking body. But I do it anyways. You know why? Because I have more than white fans. I have white fans. I have black fans. I have... Puerto Rican fans, Mexican fans, Russian fans, Canadian fans, fucking Japanese fucking fans, Cambodian fucking fans. I don't have to explain myself, but I want to because I am that motherfucker. I will get on here and explain myself as many times as I have to. You know why? Because they don't like when you get on here and explain yourself. They don't like when people see the true you. They don't like when you're not what the fuck they say you are or try to make you out to be. They want you to fucking quit. They want you to say, oh, I can't handle this shit no more, man. Why well, I'm getting off this bitch. Fuck that. So back when I was saying, I left Florida. I'm on my way back home. I was running out of gas. Okay? I'm probably the whitest motherfucker that you've ever seen rap. Okay? I get it. Whatever. But I pull over in the fucking hood on the outskirts of Atlanta at 2 o'clock in the morning and somewhere I'd never been before in a Lamborghini, wearing a Redneck Nation shirt, looking the way I look. I get out the car. A fucking group of black dudes pulls up. Young dudes, probably like 18, 19, 20 years old. All right, I get out. You know, because I, I, I'm not gonna pull up somewhere and be like, oh my God, look at all these black people. I'm pulling over being like, I need some fucking gas. Regardless of what I look like, regardless of, you know, what anybody said about me, I get out. And all these black kids were like, yo, bro, that's a badass Lambo. How'd you get that? I was like, man, I'm a rapper. They're like, nah, for real? I was like, yeah, bro, I'm a rapper. They were totally interested in that. Music. That's all it took. Music. A car and music. They didn't see this. They didn't see the word redneck on my fucking shirt. So I told him. He's like, man, how'd you get that? I was like, man, I'm a rapper. He's like, oh, bro, you got a SoundCloud? I was like, man, I work, I work past the SoundCloud stage. I was like, you just now starting out? He's like, yeah, yeah. Uh, follow me back on da 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 So we sat there and we swapped numbers. Or not numbers, my bad. We swapped Instagrams and shit. He's probably watching this right now. What up, scared? Not once was I, like, uncomfortable. Not once did they ask me anything about Donald fucking Trump. Not once did they say anything that involves that. We were sitting there talking about music. And I know, I know some people out there are like, yeah, so what? Bruh, look at me. Look at this. Look at the shit I talk about. Look at how I talk. Look at how I look. I pulled over on the outskirts of Atlanta in the hood at 2 o'clock in the morning looking like this to get some gas. And it was no fucking problem. That's what I'm saying. Why the fuck do they make everything look like a problem? 
They're trying to make people like me scared of fucking black people in the hood. They're trying to make black people in the hood be scared of motherfuckers that live out in the hills in the woods. Because it helps them. They use the white people in the woods when they need to. They use the black people in the hood when they need to. And if we was together, all of us, and, and seen shit the same fucking way, then they couldn't use either of us for any fucking thing. Why is it such a problem that Lil Nas X is doing country rap music? Why is it so fucking weird that he, he has a song that's a little bit country? Do I like his music? No. I'm not a 16-year-old or a 12-year-old. I'm almost 30. But why is it a fucking issue, man? Don't you see how they played off the whole iTunes thing? Oh, they kicked him off fucking iTunes because he's black. Nah. They didn't even kick him off iTunes. I don't even know why in the fuck people were saying that. They moved him into a different genre. Because he uploaded a rap song on the country charts. If everyone did that, there would be no genres on the fucking charts to even look at. Dude, all I can say is this, man. I wish I could have gone more in depth about this, but I know the shit that I'm going to talk about. A lot of people don't know about it unless you're into shit like this and you dive deep into it, man. But listen, whether you're black or white or hood or country or whatever the fuck you are, I don't know. I'm just looking at my screen and I'm talking to Every fucking body who's going to watch this. Don't let them turn you into what they want to turn you into. All right? I don't give a fuck if you're driving a Caprice on 20 fucking eights. Bumping the most fucking hood music ever. If you was on the side of the road and your tire was flat and it was hot as fuck outside. I would pull over and help you change your big ass rim. You know why? Because I like fucking big ass rims too. And I also hate being stuck on the side of the road in the fucking heat. Regardless of what the fuck you look like. Regardless if your pants are around your knees. Do I fucking wear my pants around my knees? No. I think it looks fucking dumb. But we're all fucking humans, bro. And I already know. They're going to... Some people's going to get in the comments below and be like, This motherfucker's crazy. He don't know what he's talking about. This and the other. What the fuck ever, bro. If you don't think so, whatever. I ain't trying to persuade nobody. I'm saying this shit, and the reason I'm even stopping to make this video is because I care about the kid that I met at the gas station in Atlanta that has a dream to be a rapper. Rapping will keep him out of fucking trouble. It will keep him from doing anything bad in his neighborhood that he might fucking stumble across, and that's in every fucking hood. Whether you're in fucking Chicago or you're in the suburbs behind the fucking ballpark in the private school. Do you know how much farther people would get if they would take advice and have a conversation with somebody that don't look like them? But how are we going to do that when the internet is swaying that shit so fucking hard? It won't. It don't matter what they put in front of you. It matters how you act, whoever you are. And as far as the fucking music shit goes and the internet shit, you gotta innovate. You gotta think for yourself. I already have a fucking game plan. I'll share it for y'all. I got my own website. I've been building my own website with my business partner the whole time I've been doing this. If they take me off the fucking internet, you'll be able to find every fucking thing I do right now at this very moment there. Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck. I'm still going to stick around whether I make money or not. Most of my fucking shit's not monetized any damn ways because they won't let it be. Have a game plan, man. Think for yourself. I love you guys.